Hi guys, how are you? I'm Robin, welcome back to my channel. Now I've got an extra video this week, an extra one to say thank you so much for getting me to 80,000 subscribers. That is an absolute insane number um, and one which I'm very happy about, so thank you so much. Now this video that I'm going to do today is one which is very close to my heart. I've got seven top tips for you guys out there with fine hair. So guys, even if you don't have fine hair, there should be something, at least one thing in this video that you can put into practice. So seven things I'm gonna talk about are, one, understanding what fine hair is, two, the type of haircut you should have with fine hair, three, what you should stop your barber or hairdresser from doing, four, maintaining fine hair, five, prepping it before styling it, six, actually styling it and what products you should be doing, and then seven, the final one, fixing your hair. The first thing and perhaps the most important thing about this video is understanding what fine hair actually is. Now throughout the three years that I've been on YouTube I've had loads of comments from people saying Robin you're balding, Robin I can see your scalp, Robin you're receding, Robin your hair looks awful and actually guys well apart from the awful bit none of that is true. What I've got is fine hair and fine hair means that the actual diameter of the hair itself is smaller than say someone with thicker hair. Now you can have fine hair but still have lots of it so your hair can look thick and full but actually guys the actual particle, the hair itself, will be thinner. So is fine hair the same as thinning hair? The simple answer is no. Fine hair relates to the actual hair itself, so again that's the diameter, whereas thinning is about the hair on your head. So you might have started five years ago with loads and loads of hair, and five years later you've got less of it on your head. That means you are thinning. So guys, if you do have fine hair, do not worry, because you are actually blessed. You're blessed with great hair, because with fine hair, as I've shown on my channel, you can do absolutely loads with it, and more than most guys with thick hair can do. For haircuts, I'd recommend that you get your hair super tight, either all over, or just on the back and sides. And by doing that, it's gonna make the top look a lot fuller and thicker. Now with mine, what I've done is just kept it really tight on the back and sides here, and then worked in more volume. And what you're doing here is basically detracting away from any of the scalp area and making the top look a lot thicker. Now instead of putting this topic into the bit about cuts, I've given it its own point because this is something that I've experienced so much and this is all about barber communication. Now when I've gone in for haircuts with hairstylists or barbers, they quite often want to get out thinning scissors and thinning scissors will chop into the hair and add more texture. Now for guys with fuller hair, this will be great because it'll add more body to the hair. But if you're a guy with fine hair, you're running the risk of being able to see straight down into the scalp. I like to keep my hair super full on top and it just makes everything look a lot bigger. Now this next tip is relevant to absolutely anyone and it's about maintaining your hair. Perhaps the most important thing about maintaining is to have regular cuts. Now I get my back and sides cut every second week but I have the top cut maybe only four to six weeks because this is exactly where you can start to see the hair losing its shape so get those regular cuts. The other thing is about washing your hair, and I've spoken before about washing your hair, that whole stop washing your hair video, which you guys will have seen, but if you actually wash your hair less, again, especially for guys with fine hair, it will keep that hair looking fuller. And also, if you are showering, to finish on cold water, because that cold water will expand the hair and plump it up. It's exactly the same with using a hairdryer. Obviously, don't use too much hot heat, it will damage the hair, but finish, especially on a cold blast, to plump the hair and get it ready for pre-styling, or styling. Now you'll have seen in loads of my videos, but before I do whatever it might be with my hair, I prep it, and I prep it with a thickening tonic or something like a grooming cream. And some of my favorites are that label M thickening tonic, the grooming cream, or a new one that I used actually in the video just on Sunday, which was a Vedas thickening tonic. Now what that's actually doing is, the thickening tonic is clamping onto the hair and making it appear thicker and fuller. It then gets it ready for whatever product you're gonna use next. Now you should be able to use any sort of styling product, but there are some which are more suitable for fine hair. And that would be something like a mousse, because like that prep treatment, it builds it up, plumps it up, and it makes it look a lot fuller. Also stuff like clay I find works really well, something like a cream or something a lot lighter when used with a hairdryer. And then going against that, I sometimes find that gels, especially if you're not using with a hairdryer and using something like a wet look hair gel, will make you look like your hair is thinning and you'll be able to see into the scalp. And other stuff would be things like traditional pomades or waxes. But guys, again, if you're using a prep treatment beforehand, you should be absolutely fine. 
My last tip, again, is one which is relevant to absolutely anyone and everyone, and that is fixing your style. Now, you've spent a good amount of time working your hairstyle up. It's sitting exactly how you want it. If you've got any little bits of scalp, then you've covered them up perfectly and you're feeling good. So don't then go out and have the wind absolutely mess it up. Grab a hairspray and blast it all over so that you're fixing it in place. Again, guys, remember with hairspray, don't touch the hairspray when it's wet because it will mess that style up. But it is super simple. There are your top tips. Live by these and you will have perfectly fine hair. Not thinning, it's fine. And tell anyone that says otherwise to come to me and talk to me. But thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this one. If you did and you've not yet pressed subscribe, then press subscribe. It's there or it's down there. It is free and it just means you're gonna see all my new videos as soon as they go live. But I'm gonna see you in my next new one. Bye bye.